Good afternoon, fellow app makers. Welcome back to another video of how to implement in Google Maps to our Android Studio project using Android Studio. It's Bezat here from Hayworld Coder, and in today's video, we are going to work on our location permission grants in our Google Maps page. In last video, we left off from here. We created the string arrays to checking permission granted by our user and we ran our app and we checked everything was fine in today's video we have to check in case if the user doesn't let us to have an access to the location permission what we have to do and how we are going to handle that strategy come down below your getting location permission code just write down a uh, complementary of location permission this is the description of our app this method won't run anyway it runs as an individual uh, method so it will be fine just come down and here in your keyboard just write down on request permission result as you see here click on it and it gives you an override method. So copy your top comment, bring it down here. And what are we going to do here? As I said before, we have to handle the loop if the user doesn't let us to have an access to their location. The first step we need to take is we need to initialize our location permission request as false to start with. Just write down location permission request equals to false. If you're wondering where is this location permission request came from, this is the Boolean which we made in our previous videos. It's here and we initialize it with false. Then we're going back to our method. Here we need to build an, a switch statement. What the switch statement does, it will check and go through all the request codes that user is going on and based on those codes it will return a result write down a switch statement and we have to check our request code because we are asking for the request code then we are going to check the cases we got only one case here and that case is we have to every code that user is going to insert as a request code we have to check it with the request code that we have here initialize and 1991 so here go to the case we just write down request code and then in a request code we have to check a statement if any code has been executed how are we going to check it just write down an if condition we need to check the grant result if i said here dot length that means the length of that grand result is more uh, greater than zero. That means there is a code and we have to now check that code if that is aligned with our application or no. Coming down here for checking that we need a for loop condition. In the for loop condition, we have to initialize a number and then we have to check every time we are going to ask for a code. Just write down in it i equals to zero to start with then request grant result dot length is greater than zero greater than i sorry and for every time we are going to check it we have to do one top of the hour i that we initialize with zero here is the last place which we are going to throw a result or give a result to our user. Just write down an if condition. Here we need to check if the I that uh, we requested as a code does equal with our request code or our permission granted. Just write down grant results. We have to check the I. If it doesn't equal to our package manager dot permission granted, that means the user every time we ask for the code has denied to ha let the app to access to their location. In that case, will be location permission request equals to false. That means the user uh, failed or didn't uh, let the user or didn't grant the permission. Then we need to show a toast. 
here we say we could say uh, permission denied finish off this activity and we start a new activity that activity sends the user from map page to our welcome page again new intent we are in our map page dot this comma we are sending the user to welcome page dot class so if that is not the case that means the permission being granted and then we need to initialize our app Coming down here below your four, uh, below your second if statement, location permission granted equals to true, and then here we need to initialize our map. Where is the init map came from? Init map was a method that as a, a fragment we created here is this method, and that's it for this method. All run, and we are going to check our application. One thing I have to mention is if you do have your application installed already and you're going to check this app, it won't ask for the permission again because if you already granted it, that means the location permission is being granted. What I suggest either in setting of your application, go and deny the location permission grant or you can simply uninstall the app and run it again. So let's check what comes up. As I mentioned, I have already uh, un uninstalled my application and that means I have to log in back to our application again. Just do your login and we go into our transferring page. We are in our welcome page. We just click on the button to go online. Here we got a request for accessing our location. And if we deny, let's see what comes up. It will send back the user to our welcome page. Try it one more time. So if you click on here, don't ask again, that will never ask the permission request again. We just check it as a deny and then it will transfer the user from here, permission denied, and we are in our welcome page. We do it one more time to have an access to our location and see what comes up. And then allow and all set here. So application is ready to use. As you see, we are in our general point of view. And in next video, we are going to work to be specifically in a location of the device and see how it works. If you do have any question, please write it down in the comment. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so because we are going to learn together in the easiest way. Thanks for your time and watching and I will see you all in next video.